个新的视频。那么今天我们又不用花钱，我们要跟舅一起来听一下二零二一年的超级火的一首歌。而且我感觉舅和我，我们现在也是这种关系。你们来发一个弹幕，来猜一下是哪一首歌呢？来发弹幕。没错，就是错位时空。但是呢，我们要听一个新的版本，是杨千花唱的。废话不多说哦，提前跟你们说一下哦，最后有个彩蛋，是九月来，不要错过。走 ，Hey guys, it's Joe Creator. So this performance I think is of a well-known song called Chiu Wei Shi Kong. 大家来发个弹幕，他这一次中文发音多少分？来，来。I have done a little bit of research. Listen to the sort of original style for this song. So let's begin. So something that sort of stands out initially is the intro.、Uh, it's quite clever with the arrangement. The song has a really, really memorable melody, and so they make sure to sort of introduce slowly this melody,、um, but also they've changed the. Arrangement behind it. It doesn't follow the same root notes, the same chords as the rest of the song. We have this descending progression at this half-time speed, which introduces the melody. So that means we already know what song this is at the start of the performance, and then we can go into this first verse, which is done using this lovely sort of strum on a on a guqing or similar. So bring us into the first、Gucheng. verse. 来发个弹幕。So I think there with that chorus, I really like that there is a sort of thicker arrangement for the performance here. This sort of boosts up the grand feeling of the song and lets that melody sort of shine over it as well. I feel. I think with her singing performance, she sings it quite effortlessly. It's very important with this melody to get the accents right and to get the emphasis. Uh, uh, the <laughs> to get the emphasis right on the performance, I think she does a great job of this here, especially with the sort of descending bit of the melody and also the triplet section as well. I feel like the performance there really hit the nail on the head on making sure that melody flows the way it's intended to. Sun, 就是 sun， 非常的 sun。It's like a little reel. Okay, oh, 
we here we do a sort of similar thing to arrange the second verse with a sort of A and B feel, introducing the drums and everything, which really build the song up and allow it to flow into this section, which sounds super cool. I really think mm -hmm. it encapsulates the idea of what this performance is, which is, you know, about the players of this game and how they've been brought together. And so both with the visuals here in the video and you have all of this choral backing in the background, um, it works really well. And what else is quite clever that they've done, I feel, is that they've got that in the back and also quite low. So uh, Miriam Young's voice still comes over the top of it and the whole performance is sort of boosted by this section. So it's really sort of the area to focus on and the attention grabber of the piece. <laughs> I like that it drops down just to her voice there, just for that last line. Ooh. I like the last chord at the end there because it uses this really interesting extension. It doesn't just resolve and you have this nice little hanging hanging chord at the end. So, what did I think of the performance and Miriam Young herself? I thought that she sang it really well. Um, it sort of seemed effortless and I think she did a good job of singing as if she was singing to you um, and to us as the audience. Obviously, the main hook of the song is having these backing vocals come in from all of the players and I think having the visuals in the back there sort of really um, sent home what the, the meaning um, of the performance is. I really like the sort of updated sound of the arrangement. There's a lot of traditional sounds in there and they're used for really transitioning between the sections and then being the building blocks to uh, create the feeling of the performance as well. In terms of the arrangement, I felt like this, the start was really, really strong and I think the cleverest part of the arrangement. Perhaps some of that further along as well would be ideal. Incorporating something else like this halftime feel or the, or the different root notes that are being used there. But I think that absolutely enough was done to sort of make this Miriam Young's own sort of style and own performance as well. So in that regards, it was definitely really good. The main thing, obviously was just absolutely hammering the main melody because to me that melody is the most important part to really well distinguish sound and the way it flows is really important. I would give it a go but I'm not a vocalist and I definitely can't sing it as well as she did but I've got something else that maybe I can practice with to get that melody going. So I'm going to go away and practice. Hopefully Sandy you appreciate my little performance um, trying to recreate this melody myself. So I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you Joe. Okay. So she 大家能听懂就合作就是随便 去找到他了，然后你们都喜欢，也喜欢这个音乐系列的，就是做了那么多期，然后就感觉现在和Joe也是一个特别好的一个朋友，然后Joe也说他以后也想去中国看看，然后特别期待以后带Joe去去去中国
。OK， 现在我们有一个彩蛋，彩蛋，彩蛋，彩蛋，彩蛋，彩蛋。这是就第一次一直在学这个。就你怎么那么牛逼啊 ？OK， 首先你们给就多少分？吹这个唢呐，我感觉是满分，而且他还弄了双倍，你在最后面的。That was crazy， 我没想到就能还能学到这个。我个人呢，我给他满分，太神奇了，太好看了。哎 ，Ryzen， 你也打个分，你在评论区给我说一下，就值得多少分？来，快点跟我们说。好了，拜拜，拜拜。